Hi everyone, it's Brittany here, and I have some projects I want to share with you guys. But first, I wanted to share this coupon code, and this is for July 14, and July is all caps. And if you use this in the shop, you get 20% off um, your whole purchase, and um, this expires on July 7th. So, great time to get some of the new stamps, the new releases, and some of the stuff you guys might have on your list. Um, great, great prices right now, and even, it'll even take off of everything in the clearance section, so I will put the link for that down below, and you guys can go check that out. And I wanted to share um, a couple binder clip photo holders um, that I've been working on, and I've been super busy. Sorry, I haven't had a whole lot of videos up lately. Uh, I'm getting ready for a craft show this weekend, so that's why I've been a little MIA. But I wanted to do this video and share that coupon with you guys and show you guys these binder clips. I think they're super cute and so fun. Um, some of the ideas I did get off Pinterest. I I made some last time and they were so fun. I just wanted to do, you know, do some more and get some different ideas. So here's the first one. And I just, I covered them all in paper. I inked the edges. This one I have a couple Prima flowers and then this Brad. And also um, this little bow up here. So there's the first one. Here's this next one. I just cut out this little piece of paper. It's like a Polaroid, and it says a picture is worth a thousand words. And I used a little bit of um, the Tim Holtz burlap ribbon stuff, and I used the wood grain paper, a little bit more masculine. And then this one here, I just covered in red paper. I used one of the Glitz giant rhinestones, and I put some burlap behind it. I just thought that was kind of cute. And this one has a sheer gray bow. And this one here, I decided to do a bike. And it kind of stinks. I covered up the paper, but um, I think it's super cute. I love this one. So there's that one. And then this one, again, I did one of the little Polaroids. This was from the Kaiser Craft Happy Place, I think, is the paper pad. Um, so it's got, like, the cameras and stuff. And then I just put the little Polaroid. This next one is pretty plain. I just cut out this little scalloped square and punched out a, a black heart and did some glossy accents over the heart. So that one's super cute. And then this one, I haven't decided if I'm going to add a bow um, or I mean a, you know, a button or something here. It's just that this flower is really pretty and it's a larger print so I don't really want to take away from that. But this bow is super cute. And then this one here, I just did a wood veneer and I used some distress paint. And I thought that was super bright and cute as well. And then I think this is the last one I have. I did this one more like school themed. Um, I still have to add the bow. I was waiting for that to dry. But it's dry now. So again, I just used a little wood veneer and I colored it with some ink. And then just did this little paper from a crepe paper pad. So those are my binder clips. And I, I'm going to finish some more, but... Um, I need to get those done, and then maybe I'll do another video. I'm not sure. And then I wanted to show you guys really fast. I was working on some um, invitations and stuff for my son for his birthday. He turns three in a few days. So um, I've been working on some decorations and things. And these are actually not fully assembled. I need to put them on little sticks. They're going to go in a little pot um, for, like, a little collage thing in a pot. You know, they'll stick in, like, flowers, but not flowers. So I just wanted to show them to you guys. I cut these out with my silhouette. So there's Mickey Mouse's foot. Here's his hand. Here's a Mickey head. And then the Mickey shorts. So those are super cute. And then I also made a wreath, which I'm going to grab really quickly. And this is just like a mini wreath um, to hang up kind of like, I don't know, somewhere. I just thought it'd be kind of fun just to use up some fabric scraps so I can't even get the whole thing in here but I just thought it was super cute and fun and then we'll cut out like a little Mickey Mouse with the you know the number three for his birthday super fun and cute so those are my projects um and hopefully like I said I'll be back soon I just I have so much going on this week it's gonna be crazy busy and then I also did this I'll show you guys this really quick it's not finished at all um, but I got this new stamp. It's actually from, let's see, Stacy Stamps. 
And I just thought it was super cute and fun. And I don't have a whole lot of flower stamps to watercolor with. Um, or even just color in. So I wanted to get this one. And I used, it's on watercolor paper. And I used distress markers. And I just love the way it turned out. It looks really, really pretty. So I just embossed it in white and then colored that in. But that is it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I hope you guys have a great weekend. And if I'm not back on in time, um, happy 4th of July. And I will be back on soon.